Here we got a 340 Duster. Now when this engine was in the ARR Cooter like a couple years before that, um, when they raced it, they would, for the rules on the track, they would have to make it a 302. So it was a 340 that was de-stroked to a 302. But 340, on his arguments, what's better, the 340 or 360? I don't know, really, it doesn't make much of a difference to me, but uh, actually the 318 is even bad. The 318 will do a really good job. But uh, the 340 was actually made for racing. Well, the 318, as they say, it's a, just a regular engine. Everything you put on a 340 can go on a 318. The 318 can do pretty darn well, so. Duster's a light car, though. That's another thing with it, too. So this is 74. You know, it had the high bike bucket seats in it. It's got the Torque Flight 727 transmission, which is a very good transmission. Typical to mount the tack on it, on the uh, steering column, where you can see it real easy. And uh, Chrysler made a very good stock shifter. That slap shifter, that's a great shifter. You know, it really is. Um, for a stock shifter, it's one of the best factory stock shifters going. Fuel filler up, looks really cool with the 340 on the back. And you know what makes this car? The duster from the factory, it looks, with the little wheels on it, it looks weird to me. With, no, this car doesn't look weird at all. I'm just saying, the, the factory small wheels, because that quarter panel is big. So it's it's like the wheels are tucked in further and stuff because it's got a narrow axle on it and stuff. And the body just looked too big for the wheels. When you change these wheels out, this whole car looks like totally different. It looks like freaking super great, you know? And it's a lightweight car too. That's one of the reasons it's fast. Like a Chevelle will weigh a few hundred pounds more than this thing. That makes a difference. That's one of the reasons these things were fast, especially with that 340 in it.